Hello everyone and how are you doing? And welcome to today's session of Positive EFT. So if you're around, come in and let me know that you're joining me. And if you're watching the replay, you are equally as welcome. So for those of you who are new to the group, my name is Yvonne and I'm an EFT practitioner and personal development coach. And I help people like you and me who struggle with confidence to believe in themselves. And one of the ways I do that is through EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique or is otherwise known as tapping. So if you're joining me live, please put in hashtag live so I know you're here. And if you are watching on the replay, please put in hashtag replay so that I can come back in and say hello later on. OK, so <clears throat> the way this group works, if you're new to the group, the way this group works is we do a positive EFT session with um, positive affirmation cards. It's not a typical EFT session. Hey, Trudy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? Um, so, yeah, so the, I introduce people to EFT, EFT through positive affirmation cards. It's not a typical EFT session. EFT is a little bit more deep dive. Um, but in with these sessions, what we do is I just show you how to tap, basically. We just tap in an affirmation. It'll help you feel a little bit better. It'll inject a little bit of positivity into your day. And it's a really, really nice way to start your day. Hey, Veronica. Um, so it's a lovely way to just start your day. OK, so it's not typical EFT, though. It's important that I say that typical EFT would be much deeper. It would be a deeper dive. We would dig into something, get our roll up our sleeves and get down and dirty and see what was going on. OK, we get to the root cause of an issue. That's what EFT does. It's a really good technique. And then what we do is we do an affirmation or we do um, a meditation afterwards. And the meditation, I haven't posted it in the in the post today. What I've decided to do is to put it in unit one so that you always know where to get it. So it's for your it's just to make it accessible, more accessible for you. So the meditation, the inhale confidence meditation is in unit one. All you have to do is go to it, click on it, and it'll take you to it. You don't have to put in an email address or nothing. It's just a link that takes you straight to it. OK, so it's just hopefully it'll make it a little bit more accessible for everybody. Um, hey, Jenny. Hello, Sharon. How are we doing today? OK, good. So lovely to see so many of you on. So we are, uh, the cards that came out today are unusual, actually, but I think they're good and I think they're really apt um for what is going on at the minute okay so it's good so just give me two seconds and okay cool okay hello emory hello caroline how's everybody doing great okay so the cards that came out today uh good okay so the cards that came out today say my income is constantly increasing OK, now I know at the minute that people are worried about money and uh, with all these lockdowns and with all the restrictions that are going on, a lot of businesses are being affected. So I do think that's really apt today because uh, the more you worry about money, the more you prevent it from coming in. OK, so it might sound strange. That might be a new concept to some people, but um, it's important to try and release those emotions because what we resist persists. So if you are worried about spending money and worried about money coming in, what you're actually doing is you're creating a block. OK, so we're going to reframe that today. And on the back of this, it's so apt and it says I am worthy of prosperity and abundance. And that is so true um, because you are. OK, so if you can, instead of worrying about your money, if you could reframe your mind today to um, to tell yourself that my income is constantly in increasing, because when we go into uh, panic mode or when we go into a fear response about money, we will come up with a solution to bring in more money. We we absolutely will. OK, there, I don't think there's anybody here that isn't capable of bringing in more money if, if they have to. If that means taking on extra work or whatever it means for you, we are all capable of doing that. So if you, if you say to yourself, my income is constantly increasing, right? What you're saying to yourself really is, if I need to come up with a solution, I will. And I'm worthy of prosperity, prosperity and abundance because you absolutely are. OK, so I hope that resonates 
um, with you today. Okay, good morning, Linda. Okay, good. So we have a few new faces. That's good. This could be a good time. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, and then the second card, which is from Miracles Now deck, which is one of my favorite decks. It's beautiful. And it says, whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my inner light. Now, I really like that. I think that's really good because we do compare ourselves to 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 other people the whole time or we look at what they have and we think oh god why can't i have that or why don't i have that we we're, we comparisonitis we do it the whole time um but this card is really nice because i love the way it reframes it again eft is all about reframing and meditation it's all about reframing your thoughts and and bringing positivity in and, and learning how to manage those negative thoughts. Okay, so I think that's really nice. Whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer, the light I see in them is a reflection of my inner light. Okay, so maybe when you compare yourself to others, it's because you think, well, I could do that. So go and do it. Okay, go and do it. Find out what you need to do to be able to do what you want to do and go and do it. Okay, seize the day. Okay, so I, I like that card. I think that's really, really nice. Okay, and I think it goes really well with that. It complements that really well, actually. I'm constantly increasing my income. What do I want? I'm going to get it. Okay. Um, and then the gratitude card, which is lovely. It says, enjoy the little things for one day. You may look back and realize they were the big things. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Sharon. I love that card as well. Um, so yeah, the gra this this is lovely because um, I was doing a well-being course yesterday with a bunch of people, a bunch of beautiful people. And when it when it came down to the, nit the nitty gritty about what was important to people, it was the little things. It was being able to make a cup of tea for somebody to brighten up their day. It was being able to receive that cup of tea from somebody that just made them feel really good that somebody would make a cup of tea for them. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be the big things. It can be the really, really small things. Um, being grateful for having a cosy bed, getting up after a night's sleep and feeling great, feeling rested, you know. So what are the little things that we can be thankful for today? Because they're the big things. They are the big things, particularly now when everything is all over the place. And um, I think it's a good time to reset and just acknowledge what we have and be grateful for it. So a, a really good technique for that is to write down one thing you're grateful for every day and three reasons why. That's what I do every morning in my journal. So yes, I'm banging on about journals again because I'm so passionate about it. Journaling is amazing. So what could you what could you write down today um, or make a note of it in your phone, whatever. What could you write down today and ask yourself, tell you, you say, I'm so grateful for this and three reasons why. And what happens when you when you do the three reasons why your heart just fills up. It's amazing. And it just completely changes your day. OK, so I think they're gorgeous cards. Yes, Emery, they're spot on. Absolutely. So I think they're gorgeous cards and we're going to tap them in. OK, so whenever you're ready, let's get grounded. OK. So place both feet on the ground and remove your footwear if you can. And then I want you to close your eyes and I want you to sit with a straight back and just check in with yourself and ask yourself, how am I feeling today? OK, we don't do that enough. So ask yourself, how are you feeling today? What do you need from me today? And it could be simply just a rest, it could be a cup of tea. Could maybe to be having a chat with somebody pick up the phone and ring somebody it could be just sitting on here with me so what do you need today and then acknowledge that okay acknowledge how you're feeling so if it's good great and hopefully that'll help you feel even more hello sarah hello sean um and if you're not feeling so good then acknowledge that too because hopefully when you acknowledge it it'll reduce the power of it and you'll accept it and then hopefully your day will start to turn around slowly but surely okay use this session to do that okay and then we're going to take three deep heart breaths so place your dominant hand over your heart followed by your other hand and whenever you're ready 
Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. And one more deep breath in. And breathe out. And then just sit with that for a minute and let those deep breaths circulate around your body and just enjoy how they make you feel. And then we're going to tap in the, the affirmation cards, okay? So if this is your first time, don't worry about it. Just do as I do and say as I say. We're going to tap around the points and we're just going to tap in the affirmation. We're going to repeat it, okay? So when we tap in the acupressure points, what we're doing is we're sending a lovely positive vibration back to the back of the brain where all our emotional memories are kept. And that allows us to relax, to, to tell you, it reassures your body that you're okay. And if it's a little bit anxious today or a little bit stressed, well, it's okay to relax. It interrupts that stress response. Okay. So starting on the eyebrow point. Okay. And repeat after me, either in your head or out loud. My income is constantly increasing. Side of the eye. I am worthy of prosperity under the eye and abundance. Under the nose. When I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. Under the mouth. The light I see in them is a reflection, collarbones, of my inner light. Under the arm, enjoy, I'm going to enjoy the little things because one day I might look back and realise, top of the head, that they were really the big things. Back to the eyebrow, my income is constantly increasing. side of the eye. I am worthy of prosperity under the eye and abundance. Under the nose, whenever I compare myself to others, under the mouth, I simply say this prayer. Collarbones. The light I see in them is a reflection of my inner light. Under the arm, and I'm going to enjoy the little things because one day I may look back and realize top of the head that they were the big things. And then we're going to finish off with a round of relaxing and releasing. So relaxing and releasing. Side of the eye, relaxing and releasing any resistance under the eye to these affirmation cards today. Under the nose, relaxing, releasing and letting go. And take a deep breath in on that. And breathe out. And as you breathe out, let all that negativity go. Push it all out. Under the mouth, relaxing, releasing and letting go. Collarbones, relaxing, releasing and letting go of any negativity that creeps into my mind today. Under the arm, because it serves me no purpose, it just keeps me stuck. And I don't want to be stuck. Top of the head, feeling grounded, feeling safe, feeling positive as I go about my day. And then finish off on the third eye, which is our intuition. And so it is. Gently stop tapping, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And then whenever you're ready, I want you to put in the comments, we're going to set our intention, okay? So I want you to put in the comments and so it is. And as you do that, we're going to set an intention to send our bolts of positivity out into the world, out into the universe, 
out to anyone who needs them today. And I want you to include yourself in that intention. Okay. Okay, so I hope those cards resonated for you. So for anybody that joined in the middle of that live, the cards that came out today said, my income is constantly increasing. I am worthy of prosperity and abundance, which means if you're worried about money at the moment, don't worry. When you change that negative thought about, about a lack of money, if we sit in a state of lack, um, we attract lack. So if you st sit in a state of my income is constantly increasing, watch what happens. It will increase. I had an example of it yesterday, even I got a message from somebody who had a money block. We cleared it and she got, she became abundant overnight, we will just say. Okay, it's amazing. The power of your mind is amazing. Okay, and then never come. Um, when I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my inner light. So what is it about other people that you are comparing yourself to? If that's if, it, if what you see in them is what you want, then go after it. Okay, it's the universe showing you. You can do that too. There you go. There's your sign. Off you go. Okay, and be grateful for the little things because one day we'll realize they were really the big things. So, such a beautiful message this morning. I really love these three cards today, these three decks together. They're gorgeous. Um, thank you, girls. Um, and so it is. So, Sarah says, Perfect for me today. Thanks, Yvonne. You're so welcome, Sharon. And so it is. Thanks, Yvonne. Needed that today. Great. No problem, Chez. And Nolene says, and so it is. Great. Thank you, Nolene. So I think we have a couple of first timers on here, which is amazing. Um, so for the first timers, if you need a little more support, there is free resources over in unit one. Head straight over. Um, and they're there. There's uh, releasing anxiety and releasing overwhelm. There's a lovely meditation on, about inhaling confidence as well, which is gorgeous. So what we usually do after these sessions is we go and we do the meditation. If you have time, if you don't have time right now, it's okay. Go and do it afterwards or later tonight. Um, and what we do is we fill up that lovely space with lovely positive thoughts. And the inhale, the inhale confidence meditation is a really nice, gentle meditation. It's just 10 minutes. It's really nice. And it's over there waiting for you in unit one. So head over, grab it, click on it. It'll take you straight to it. No emails, no nothing, no rubbish. Um, it'll take you over there okay and for anybody that wants one-to-one -one support send me a dm and we'll start out we'll arrange a session okay so that's it for me today i hope those cards resonated with you hello michelle hello julie we've just finished um so i hope those cards resonated with you today those on the confidence academy we have our live zoom session tonight seven o'clock um so i will see you all then and for the rest of you, I will see you tomorrow at some stage. I'm not going to say a time just in case, but I will see you live at some stage tomorrow. OK, that's it for me. Bye for now, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day.